guys welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new here my name is Danielle and I do random car chats so I thought that I would kind of go over my life story there's so many random little stories that I want to tell but I feel like if I start telling them out of context they're not gonna really make sense sorry guys Hector called and cut off my video I'm recording on my phone but I do have my camera here, actually I need to find the cap. This is the Sony 5100, A5100? Something along those lines. Anyways, so I went to two different elementary schools and two different middle schools. So in elementary school, I think it was an okay experience. I think it was until fourth grade that I actually experienced like my first drama and basically it was because i grew up hanging out with a certain group of girls my cousin was one of them and then some other girls the cousin that was in the story about she defended me and got the drink poured on her basically and then in fourth grade i made a new friend and we'll call her rachel i don't know so I got really close to Rachel because we were not only in the same fourth grade class, we went to catechism together. If you're Catholic, then you know what it is. If you're not, it's basically one of your sacraments that you have to go through. It's just a, a class. You go to it like for two years and you learn about God and then you do your first Holy Communion. So usually on, I think classes were on Saturday or Sunday, her dad would always pick us up and take us places like we'd go to Chuck E. Cheese, we'd go to Griffith Park, we would go to Disneyland. He he would always just take us places and so me and her became really close because we were always hanging out every weekend and then we started hanging out at school and I don't know if you guys did this in elementary school but hot Cheetos were the shit. Like any kid that would bring the big bag of hot Cheetos they had all the friends. Well Rachel was that friend who would bring like the big ass bags of hot Cheetos and share with everybody. In elementary school, if you brought snacks, you had to go eat them in the cafeteria. So that's what we would do. We would go eat our snacks in the cafeteria. And I started getting really close with Rachel. And so she had her own group of friends. There was a few of us. And my cousin's group, the people who I originally used to hang out with, they did not like that they thought I was being you know too distant with them like too distant from them they thought I was hanging out with Rachel too much and I remember one time it was either during recess or lunchtime I don't remember they came up to me and they're like you're gonna have to choose between us and between Rachel we're not gonna be your friends if you keep hanging out with her and honestly, I don't remember ultimately who I chose, but I couldn't believe that they were making me make a decision of who I wanted to be friends with. And it seems like from that day, the drama just never stopped in my life. <laughs> and I think I continued just to hang out with Rachel, to be completely honest. I think I just try to keep it cool with both of them. I can't really quite remember who I chose, but I do remember being close to Rachel the rest of the school year. That was the first drama I was ever a part of. Another thing about uh, Rachel was she really liked playing tetherball and that was my shit back then was playing tetherball. So I don't know. I remember the other group of fourth graders, they were, I don't know, they were just into different things. I was still like, I think a kid and still into playing games and stuff. So I remember me, and Rachel and our friends, we used to like run around and like play tag and things like that. <coughs> Plus the reason why, like I said, I became really close to Rachel was because we were in the same fourth grade class. The other group of girls, they were all in the same fourth grade class. So I don't know if you were like me, but I always had the worst luck when it came to classrooms i never had any of my friends in any of my classes so i would have to make new friends which is really hard because i'm really a shy quiet person but all my friends always seem to get the same homeroom together and that's exactly what happened in fourth grade that was another reason why we were kind of distant because they were in the same fourth grade class and i had my own fourth grade class so it kind of put a little strain on our fourth grade friendship i guess 
after that, I didn't stay at that elementary school my whole fourth grade year. I went there from kindergarten through halfway fourth grade. And then typical mom-like um, behavior, because she's did this to me several times, uh, she ended up transferring me schools. So we were we ended up moving to a different city, which was only like seven or eight miles away. Now, as an adult, I realize how close it was, but back then in traffic, it used to take so long. So when we moved, my dad was still dropping us off at my Nana's house in the morning so we can still attend our regular schools, me, my sister, and my brother. They didn't transfer us right away. But my dad is a very punctual person, and as, as soon as we started making him late to work, they transferred us. So I've always been a bear. My ass will not wake up for anything. So I was making my dad late. He literally sometimes would have to carry me to the car because I would be asleep and I wouldn't wanna wake up. I've, I've just been a bear my whole life. So as soon as we started making him late, they transferred us, me, my sister, and my brother. We started going to this school in Hacienda Heights. That's the city that we moved to. And so I went to a, a brand new elementary school. The difference between this elementary school and my last elementary school was this one went up to fifth grade. My other one only went up to fourth grade. So these kids were a lot different than the city that I moved from, but their drama remained the same. So I was the new kid and I was the fourth grader at this school and I was not a cute kid. Okay. I was a fugly little kid. My teeth went out sideways. I was just not cute. Okay. But for some reason I had all the boys attention when I got to that school and I remember fifth grade boys liking me and having a crush on me and fourth grade boys liking me and having a crush on me and back then I was not into boys okay I like I said I was still a freaking child I wanted to play tag and play tetherball and go on the monkey bars the last thing on my mind was having a boyfriend and that's just part of the story that's just something else we'll get into boys in a different story so anyways i was the new girl and i made friends with a different group of people than i was used to my fourth grade year i made friends with fifth graders because half of my fourth grade class or my half of my homeroom were actually fifth graders and then there was another fifth grade class this school was so small okay so there was literally one full fourth grade class, one full fifth grade class, and then a half class that has half fourth and half fifth graders. So in that half class, I made friends with a lot of fifth graders. And obviously it was towards the end of the school year. So then they ended up leaving. So in fifth grade, I had to make new friends. Again, I'm shy. I'm quiet. I don't like to talk to people. I'm just socially awkward. I didn't know how to make friends. And so I did end up making a group of friends. They were kind of like the bad girls or like the cool kids. I don't have any of them on social media or anything, so I'll just use their names. Um, I know one was Yvonne. Actually, I don't even remember their names. Yvonne, Alexia, or Alex Alexia. I don't know. Carissa. I don't know. There was a group of girls and they were really like the cool kids. Okay. And like I said, I was a little fugly kid. I felt really insecure next to them, especially one girl. I thought she was so pretty. She had like the Mary Kate and Ashley haircut. Like my bangs are short, so I can't do it. But when Mary Kate and Ashley had like that short flippy hair and like they would do like the one bang, like just pretend these are bangs. Okay. Let's just pretend these are bangs. They would wear their headband and then wear their two bangs like this. <laughs> like that's the kind of hair she had, okay? She was like a cool kid. So the thing about these girls is they were mean. They were mean girls. So whenever they were my friend, they couldn't be Carissa's friend. And whenever they were Carissa's friend, they wouldn't be my friend. And they would literally just like ignore me. They would make me feel bad about myself. They would like stare at me and like name call. They were really mean kids. And I was only in fifth grade, like what the hell? So this is the beginning of these little bullying stages. And so I don't know why they couldn't be our friends when like I couldn't, it couldn't just be both me and Carissa being friends with this group of girls. Like it was just one or the other. They were gonna isolate one of us. It didn't matter. I don't know why they were like that. And so I ended up making like two other friends that were kind of like the loner type 
my type of personality i guess back then just shy quiet they used to play in the sand and like make sand castles and now in retrospect i kind of feel bad because i would kind of just use them when the cool girls were not my friend and when the cool girls were my friend then I would hang like I wouldn't hang out with them. I mean, I still talk to them regardless, but I wasn't hanging out with them. I would only go with them when the cool girls were not being nice to me. This is how pathetic I was around this age to have friends. I used to take them toys, gifts, Pokemon cards were in, so I would give away all my good Pokemon cards to them just so they can be nice. Every day I would take a freaking gift to them so they can be nice to me. And sometimes I would feel like they were telling secrets and like just being really mean girls, which I don't understand because when we were cool, we were cool. I never did anything wrong to them. I think they just wanted to bully one person or another. So I had to deal with that. And then also, oh, I forgot to mention because I said I wasn't going to mention boys, but there was one boy when I was a fourth grader who liked me and I said I wasn't into boys. I remember him lying to everybody saying, oh, she's my girlfriend and I kissed her. Like, I wasn't even into boys. I had never even had a conversation with him. So I remember when I was walking by all the fifth graders, everybody's like, woo, like giving me all this attention, like saying that I was his girlfriend. And I was like, no, I don't even like you, <laughs> like what? And so that was another thing that would make me feel like bad and insecure because what the hell, that was like the first rumor that was spread about me. But we'll get into rumors another time, maybe. We'll see if it goes with this story or not. So then at the end of fifth grade, my parents decide we're gonna move back to the original city. And so I went back to the original school. So like I said, I was in fourth grade. So like, you know, when you're in elementary and you grow up with the same people, you go to the same middle school, you go to the same high school. So we will move back to that city. So I went back to the middle school that I should have been going to with my friends. Keep in mind, I wasn't the most innocent little kid either, okay? I was kind of mean too. So for example, when I was in fifth grade, before we moved, let me backtrack a little bit. Before we moved, I had a slumber party and friends from my new school came and friends from my old school came. And you know, when you're at slumber parties, there's somebody that's going to get messed with. I was the kind of, I was the kid that had like those slumber parties that all the kids went to, which was really weird because when I was in school, nobody wanted to be my friend. But when I had parties, all of a sudden I had all these friends, whatever. So... Everybody came to my slumber party and we picked the person who fell asleep first and we put like, we're really mean, okay? So maybe I deserve some of, you know, karma, whatever. But when you go to slumber parties, there's always that one kid that falls asleep first. So it's like, oh, let's put their hand in hot water. Let's try to make them pee themselves. But no, we had to take it to the next level and we poured honey on them to make them sticky. I think we even did toothpaste. I don't know, we were so messed up, okay? Don't judge me. We were, that was a long time ago. So yes, my old friends and my new friends came, including my cousin and including Rachel. So that's just like, even though I had to choose between them in fifth grade, I didn't have to choose anybody. And then I moved back to the original city and I went back to the original middle school that I was supposed to go to with all the friends that I grew up with. And so here we are in sixth grade and there's this little boy that all the girls like long story short i'm not talking about boys in this story but <sighs> he was my little boyfriend okay all the little girls liked him but he liked me again i don't know why he liked me i had crooked teeth but he liked me okay and he was like my long-term boyfriend in sixth grade i'm only saying that part of the story just because it's relevant not because i'm talking about it okay okay boys are coming at another time so Although a lot of this drama has to do with boys, I just want to keep it separate just so you kind of have a gist or an idea of what's going on when I go back through. So I guess, I don't know if this other girl was his girlfriend from fifth grade, keep in mind we're in sixth grade, or if she just liked him or whatever the case was. But for some reason, you know, you know, there you know those girls that you just don't like because your man liked you they dated they kissed they did something and you just don't like them just because you don't like them well that was this girl we'll call her amber okay so that's who amber was for me 
I just, I didn't like her and she didn't like me either. So, um, long story short, I don't even know how or why, but she wanted to fight me. And this girl was small, like I'm small, okay? I'm only 5'1", but she was like probably my same height, but like super skinny, like half the size of me. And she really wanted, she wanted to fight me for whatever reason. And so I don't think she knew that I was gonna stand up for myself. I found out that she was saying she wants to fight me. And so I went up to her like, what, you wanna fight? Like thinking I'm all tough, tough okay? I'm not tough at all, I'm really, no, I'm not tough. But I was, I was not gonna let this little girl run her mouth. So I go up to her and I'm like, you want to fight like what <laughs> and so she got really scared because it was during our lunch time keep in mind this girl had an older sister who was two years older than us so we were in sixth grade her sister was in eighth grade and all she hung out with her sister and her sister's friends all the eighth graders but during lunch we had separate lunches so she couldn't hang out with them she could only hang out with them during break so she's like why don't you meet me after school no 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 telling me she wanted to fight me after school and i I'm not stupid. I'm not going to try to get jumped by her and her sister's friends. Like, no, thank you. And so I was like, no, do something right now. Literally all the kids were around us. And she was like, no, like she didn't want to fight me. So I'm like, okay, whatever. And like I said before this, like I was very quiet and shy and all this stuff. And I probably wouldn't have defended myself. I don't know what the hell came over me when, when I felt like somebody was threatening me. All of a sudden I got this like courage and I was like, what bitch, what? No. Okay, so I don't know what happened, but I didn't meet her after school. Cause like I said, I wasn't stupid. I'm not trying to get in all that. So I think like a couple weeks later and not even a couple weeks, maybe a couple days again, she's like, she's running her mouth about me supposedly. Who knows if it was true or not, or if these little kids just wanted us to fight. So we had these things called the Macy steps, which were literally steps, like big old stairs. And that's where she hung out at. And so I went and everybody said that I was going to push her down the stairs, but that's not. I was like, if you have a problem, say it to my face, like whatever. And again, like she didn't want to fight me because she didn't have her sister there. And that's who was going to like kick my ass, I guess, or who was going to come to her defense. But to me, it's just like, why are you telling people that you have a problem with me? Why are you talking bad about me? If you have a problem, tell me right now and we can settle it. I mean, like what? Like, why are you telling people you're going to jump me after school or you're going to do this and you're going to do that? But when you're by yourself, like nothing's going on. I just, no, I didn't like that. And I'm not even trying to pretend that I'm tough because I'm not, but it is what it is. So that was that. That was sixth grade. Seventh grade, I kind of felt like, okay, so sixth grade, my cousin ended up moving away. So I made new friends. So in seventh grade, I had like this new group of friends. And some of them went to elementary with me. Some of them didn't. But they were just really chill girls. So I thought. So for whatever reason, there was this one girl. I actually knew her because remember that slumber party that I had in fifth grade? Well, Rachel took this girl to my slumber party. I had never met this girl. We'll call her Janine. And so I had never met Janine. But Rachel took Janine to my slumber party because Janine and Rachel had become friends in fifth grade and that's when my slumber party was so yes so I had met Janine prior to me going to this school if you guys can keep up okay so you just keep them the name in mind Janine so I hung out with this group of girls some of them again I went to school with from elementary and some of them I didn't so this group of girls decided they didn't like Janine so they decide they're gonna give Janine the silent treatment and they even get me in on it like oh let's give Janine the silent treatment and I don't know why I did it I was just being like influenced by like the greater group of girls and they basically did to Janine what people did to me in fifth grade and I was so stupid to go along with it I have lipstick on my teeth. I was so stupid and I went along with it. And it's like, that shit's not cool. Like they gave Janine the silent treatment and stopped talking to her. Well, I don't know what happened exactly, but me and Janine started talking again and they didn't like that. Sorry, this lighting is off. I'm in my car, obviously. So me and Janine became friends again and that group of girls didn't like it. So then they stopped talking to me. 
And there's some boy drama in that too, but that's for another story. So they stopped talking to me and the only friend I had was Janine. So me and Janine became super, super close. And me and those girls, we hated each other. Like all of a sudden we hated each other. It was to the point that literally one of the girls yelled out at the top of Macy's steps where it echoed to everybody. Danielle's a bitch. And it echoed like through the whole school. Literally, okay, so PE was held up there and we would have to do jumping jacks and we would have to scream loud because it would echo. Like they would say, oh, make sure the whole school hears. So that shit would echo and that's what she literally did. I was like, oh, hell no. Although I had no friends besides Janine, again, I'm not going to let myself, I'm not going to let somebody just be mean to me. If you have a problem, say it to my face. Don't wait until the bell rings and you can yell it at the top of your lungs when I'm far away from you, but I can hear it on the echo, you know? So I knew exactly who said it. I knew exactly who said it. I actually knew this girl from sixth grade. We had the same homeroom class and she was one of the girls that hung out with my seventh grade group of friends that I was no longer friends with, obviously. And so I went over there to her class, which was PE, and I pushed her against the door. I know you guys are gonna be like, Danielle, I thought this was when you got bullied, okay? but. They were bullying me. They were being me. I was just defending myself, okay? I, I'm not saying violence is the answer. That's not what I'm saying. Don't take that away from the story. I'm just giving you guys my story. So I literally push her against the doors. And I was like, say it to my face, bitch. Like, I don't even know. Like, I was kind of crazy, okay? Yes, foul language for a seventh grader. But it is what it is. And she was like what are you talking about and I was like I just heard what you said and I knew it was her and she would just like she looked so dumbfounded because I don't think she thought I would know that it was her and that I would come and I would you know get in her face she didn't do anything right she just kind of left it alone and so the next day at school I like I said, boys, there was boys involved. So maybe they were just egging it on. Maybe they were telling the truth. But they basically told me that this girl was talking more shit. Did I give her a name already? We'll call her Marie if I didn't give her a name. I can't remember. I'm just like so into this right now. So they tell me Marie's still talking shit. So I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I know who her fifth period class is. So I'm going to go back over there after lunch like I did yesterday. And I'm going to, again, get in her face and see what really the problem is. So she's like in her, like she's, you know, turning the thing to get into her locker. And this time I like push her even harder. I know what a like bitch move, whatever. Like she sees me coming, but then she like, so don't think I just caught her off guard, okay? She saw me coming and she turns around and like acting like she's not doing anything, right? And then like, again, I push her and I'm like, so you're still talking shit. Like what, like, come on, what's up? And again, I'm not a tough girl. Like don't even think like, I think I'm so tough. And like, no, it's just like, I was, I felt like I was defending myself, you know? And so she ends up turning around and then she starts crying and she's like, I don't understand why you hate me so much. You don't understand why I hate you? Maybe because you're yelling at the top of your lungs, Danielle's a bitch. Maybe, or maybe it's because you guys are giving me the silent treatment. Or maybe it's because you're writing to my boyfriend little letters that you like him. Hmm, but boys, again, for another story. And so, yeah, that was that. We never, like, it never escalated beyond that point. Okay, that's kind of where it stayed. So now here we are in eighth grade. In eighth grade, my cousin moves back. I hang out with the group of girls. Some of them are the fourth grade girls from elementary that made me choose between their group or Rachel's group. And I end up hanging out with those girls, plus a few new girls, right? And we're like chill. We're, we're like these little tomboy skater girl type, like not even trying to be in people's drama. But for some reason, the drama followed us in eighth grade. Ugh. This video is getting long. But I'll explain what happened in eighth grade and then I'll probably end it because there's a lot of shit. 
So in eighth grade, I don't even know where to begin. This lighting is off. I'm gonna stay back here. So I know in eighth grade, several girls wanted to fight me. I don't remember in which order. Uh, one of the girls was the same girl from sixth grade, the one that I almost fought on the steps. I just didn't like her at this point. She didn't like me. It was like very open that we just hated each other. One time I bumped into her well, because she was talking shit about me, okay? So I bump into her and she tries to swing at me and like I see her fist coming from my peripherals and I literally grab it midair and I like just throw her arm away. Like, you're not gonna hit me. Like, no. And so I remember her coming up to me with like this trolla type girl who, keep in mind, used to be my friend in sixth grade. That was one another another friend that I didn't mention. Um she used to be my friend, but she was like a trolla type. Oh, that was another thing. At the beginning of sixth grade, I hung out with these like trolla type girls, okay? But anyways, she tried, like she came up to me with this trolla girl and basically said she's gonna kick my ass after school. I'm like, all right, it never happened. Yeah, I felt a little a little bit intimidated because this girl was a little trollita, so it did scare me. Um, but I wasn't scared of the original girl who tried to punch me. I was more scared of the trolla girl and all her friends. So that was one girl who tried to fight me. Another girl who tried to fight me, I don't even know if this was seventh or eighth grade. I wanna say it may have been seventh grade, but there was like this big trollita girl. Uh, we'll call her, I can't even think of names right now. And I don't, I don't wanna keep giving all these people names because they're unimportant probably after this, but we'll call her Laura. And Laura was like, she was tall she will freaking like she'll beat hector's ass like that's how big she was okay and she wanted to fight me for whatever reason they were just mean they were just mean girls and a lot of it had to do with over little boys like i said i was fugly but for some reason their little boyfriends liked me i that's not my fault like no not trying to be conceited or anything but a lot of this drama was over boys so that was in seventh grade this and I, that girl i was terrified of I, and some of the eighth graders, when I was in seventh grade, a lot of the eighth graders became my friend because remember I just, I told you I just had me and Janine were like the only two girls. Well, she started becoming friends with eighth graders. So then they started being friends with me and were all like on my side and would defend me and like, oh, if you need anything, let us know. Cause they're older, you know, I forgot to throw that in. So another fight that I almost got into in eighth grade, I, all these girls hated us. They hated me, they hated my cousin. They just hated our group of girls. And honestly, it was all over boys. I know girls hated my cousin over boys. I know girls that hated me because of boys. Like it was so stupid. Like it was so stupid. So anyways, this girl wanted to fight me. She wanted to literally, she told, okay. Long story short, there was this girl who hated me. Uh, I'll describe her. She was like a tomboy type, you know, and she would probably beat Hector's ass too. And she hated me. She wanted, she came up to me several times to tell me off for no reason. Actually, she just hated me. She didn't want her friends that were boys to be my friends. Like there was like, they were just jealous and I don't understand why or where this hate came from. And so I remember her always telling me stuff, talking shit to me, just being like really ugly to me. Well, one time she came up to me at school and even though she hated me, she knew her friend hated me even more and was even more crazy. And she's like, I told my friend, I don't even know what to call this bitch. There were so many girls. There's so many girls that want to fight. Okay. She's, I don't, I can't even give her a name. So she's like, I told my friend that I'm coming up to you to tell you off, but really I'm here to warn you that she's about to come over here. She wants, she had a lighter and she was gonna burn my face off and then she had a pen that was really a shank and she wanted to stab me. And so when she was telling me, she was like getting like this, like pretending she's telling me off, but really she wasn't, she was just warning me, but she was getting like all into it, pretending that she's telling me off so her friends can think that she was telling me off. But really, I think she was scared for me. So when she was doing all that, the security saw what happened, like saw what was going on. So they took me to the office and I told them, shit, I was scared. Like, what the hell? You, my face is going to get burned off? Like, what the hell? Like, this girl is crazy. Like, I don't even know what her problem was. What's funny is that the girl who wanted to burn my face, I knew her from elementary. And we used to be 
best friends in elementary school. Like we used to play on the playground together. So I don't even know where that hate came from. And yeah, that's all the shit from elementary and middle school. There's a lot more in high school, but this video is getting way too long. So I kind of just wanted to introduce these people hopefully i remember what i named them if they're important enough if not then it is what it is but this is all the drama that i went through for four years how many years is that fourth grade fifth grade sixth grade seventh grade eighth grade five years of my life and it only got worse in high school so yeah if you guys want to know the rest of my life story just stay tuned i'm going to be up I thought, what kind of word was that? I'm going to be uploading weekly story times. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up for story times, life stories, whatever the case is. And I will see you guys later. Bye.